Graveyard Shift, double features on Friday night at Alamo Draft House. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show. Uh, yeah, hope everybody's having a good night tonight. I just wanted to come drop in a quick video for you, do a little giveaway, shmiv away. Let's see here. Um, so I went and checked out a thing called Graveyard Shift at Alamo Draft House, La Terra. The gentleman that runs it, I believe his name was Robert. I'll put a, a, a link down below in the in the, in the description. Uh, it's a double feature on Friday nights. From my understanding, is that it will be featuring either obscure or low budget horror movies and or science fiction action type things. Uh, tonight we went and saw Trancers as the first part, and then the second part was I Come in Peace, also known as Dark Angel. Uh, this movie is a 1990 American science fiction action horror film. All right. It's directed by Craig R. Baxley, and it stars Dolph Lundgren. Um, the movie is based out of Houston. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to go see it. Uh, that and the fact that Trancers was starring Helen Hunt. Uh, I wanted to go check this out because I like her a lot. And then, obviously, Dolph in Houston. That's a win-win for somebody like me, man. I was pretty excited to see that. Uh, at the beginning of the movie, whenever the... Uh, so, okay, basically it says right here, the film's about a rule-breaking vice cop who becomes involved in the investigation of mysterious drug-related murders on the streets of Houston, Texas. So at the very beginning of the movie, uh, th there's a murder, and they're sitting in this, like, I guess, bar in downtown Houston, and, they're, and, and the bad guys are talking to this one dude, and, and, and somehow school comes up, like college. And the bad guy's like, yeah, I guess you thought I was stupid, but I spent my time in college learning shit. And the other guy's like, yeah, I, go, I went to school too, fool, you know, yada, yada, yada. And the guy's like, what college did you attend? Or what university did you attend? And this fool looks at him and goes, the university has sucked my dick? Yeah, I was laughing so damn hard. I, I mean, I, I think I was the only person laughing like that, but I, I was so caught off guard, man. That shit was amazing. Um, but the movie's overall pretty solid, man. It's got a couple of good action sequences you know decent acting for you know what you're getting into when you see the title and the in the cover of this one man this isn't something that you're going to be like oh my goodness this is a this is breaking new ground uh yada 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 no this is a this is very obviously uh a lower budget more obscure almost i would go as far as to call it b movie um, but it was good, man. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. The Houston stuff was fun to look at. I, I enjoyed that. Houston doesn't get enough love in Hollywood, so I was very excited to see that. Um, in the third act, there's a point with the bad guys, two dudes with mullets, man. At one point in the third act, though, you see very clearly, like, up on his forehead, like, the line where the skull cap was at, where they put a wig on him. I couldn't believe they chose that hairstyle with a wig. I really thought it was his hair. I, I, I truly did. Um, but yeah, man, I guess... That movie was, was a lot of fun, man. It was a very silly movie. These these uh, graveyard shift deals are, are going to be a lot of fun. It was only like 10 bucks for two movies. Great night out, man. I got to get some food there. I met some cool people. I had a good time. I uh, will be visiting those very frequently. It also comes with a, um, a passport. It's like a book that you... You get stamped every time you go and every time you leave. So you get two stamps, one for every movie that you go, and you can earn things. I saw a guy tonight earned a really nice little... Uh, uh, graveyard shift branded pint glass. I know they have shirts and hats and things. I think, um, but you also get to tell write down what movie you saw, when you saw it, and you get to give it a star rating one through five. And then there's a spot for notes. It's pretty cool, man. I was I was I was impressed. I'm gonna be going to do this quite often. I think um, I had a good time. And you know, I think I'll see a lot of movies that I never would have seen otherwise and learn some things. Uh, again, I'm not trying, trying to learn everything, you know, but I, I wouldn't mind having some information I didn't have before. That's cool. I love movies, so this is probably going to be a fun thing that I get to do on most weekends if the family's not busy doing something. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in that, go check them out. Uh, with Like I said, I put a link down, down below. Uh, but before I go, I know this is kind of weird, but I... I, back when I was a kid, there was a toy called a Mad Ball, all right? Like, I even loved the damn band Mad Ball. Um, well, they re they started re-releasing them, and, uh, yeah, I got a couple, and I wanted to give one away. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to give away this one here. It's the Hellraiser Pinhead Mad Ball. Let's see, can I get the glare off there? There you go. Looks pretty cool, man. I like it. <laughs> it's pretty dope. It's got the... 
Man, I don't know. This is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is, is in order to get this from me, I'll ship it to you if you, if you whoever wins, is just do a comment below. What is your favorite B horror movie or B action movie? Like your favorite just low budget movie, all right? That's got to be in that genre, horror, action, science fiction, that kind of thing. Um, and everybody that, that, that gives me an answer, I'm going to put you in a, on a list. And then on my next video after, I'll give it like a week or so. I guess I'll do it until, what's it, the 28th right now? So I can give it until anybody that does this all the way through. Let me look at my calendar, make sure I give you guys the right date. Saturday, the 4th of January, 2020. I'm going to do another video that day and I will announce a winner and all I'm going to do is put your names in a list, put a number by your name, roll a die and that'll, I'll use random.org to produce a random number. Um, but yeah, that's all it takes. If you want this, if you think it's cool, if you're a horror fan and you collect cool things like this, uh, it's free. You know, I appreciate y'all's views and comments and all that good stuff. So, uh, I'd like to give something back. I got one more that I'll be giving away next week. It's a different character, so uh, enter as many times as you want on on any video. One entry per person per video. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> thank you guys for checking us out. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a little dark. I'm trying some things out with the lighting. I, I'm going to try two lights next. I, I don't know. I'm working on some new things, so bear with me here. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked the video, guys. If you want to check us out on social media, I am at Fun Stuff Comics TX across all platforms. Um, yeah, until next time, guys, y'all have a good evening. Happy New Year. Be safe out there. Treat everybody kind. Peace.